Hi, everyone. Can you guys all uh, see me here? Is it showing up? Okay, sweet. Um, okay, this is the first Design Live session ever. Design Live on air, that is. Um, so my name is David Head, and this uh, is Design Live on air. So basically what this is is that every week we're going on with uh, an entrepreneur and building out their real website live for them. Uh, collaboratively over a screen share. And also, um, I mean, everyone on here can give like active feedback to this thing. We can poll people. It's a pretty, pretty sweet way to build a website. Um, basically, all this stuff is founded on our new Design Live model, which essentially we found that building a website in a collaborative format using a DIY builder like Squarespace is more efficient than uh, building it in a traditional model where you build out something and then basically reconvene say is this what you like um and then people be like no i don't like this this and this and you cut out like half your work as a designer and as a client you're paying for that the whole time so this screen share model that we found out is pretty efficient and um that's what we're going to show you guys here uh in a, in a live format which you then add some other sweet complex elements to it we think um so we're here at refinery nashville um, broadcasting live, as I said, and um, we're here with Grace McCall, who is the founder of the Nashville Cookie Company. Um, her cookies are really sweet. They're a special type of cookie, and I'll let her, her tell you uh, about it here here in a sec now. So, Grace, yeah, what's, what's your company? Yeah, so the Nashville Cookie Company, um, we started in uh, just in August, and uh, we specialize in craft cookies, so we've got um, specific flavors to us, and then everything we can buy locally is local, and then we serve the Nashville community, um, and then the greater Nashville community as well. Okay, so um, there you have it. That's Nashville Cookie Company, and um, so obviously we're doing her site here, so Grace, uh, I guess you want to just give everyone a rundown of like what your web situation is and everything like that? Yeah, so right now, basically, I have a glorified splash page. Um, it's just, it tells where the cookies are and, like, what coffee shops they're in, what events we're going to. But it's very rudimentary. Um, it's very basic. Um, so it just needs a little bit more uh, beefing up to be, I guess, just give it more of a personality. And uh, which platform you build it on? Squarespace. Okay. So, so, um, pretty standard situation that we found as a web designer. So, um, basically people build out their sites on these DIY platforms and they can't complete the whole thing, uh, or they can complete them, but it's not as professional as they want, or there's some other features. So, um, typically, you know, people can't go out and easily, uh, find help for this. So that's sort of, a part of of this model but anyway without um any more plugs here we can go into this so we'll show uh grace's website right now and get on a screen share so um right now yeah is it showing uh three screens yes i think is that what it's doing okay cool um let's see all right so now it should well now it's just on one screen all just me sorry about this. <laughs> what happens first time you use some software for uh, the live broadcast <laughs> all right let's see how to get this thing going there we go okay perfect so sweet pull that down here so no one can see that okay so um yeah so okay this is our basically our document that we're going to go off of but first we'll show you the current site so this is the current site on uh squarespace um pretty standard for what we've seen um if not a, a little bit better than than what most people will put out sometimes like they can't even get the whole thing built but it's i mean effective simple you know um probably does the job does what it needs to do but um we're just going to make it a little bit more professional here basically and uh spruce it up so to start um this is a like our design live brief basically our discovery document and it, uh, I mean, we start off basically like the, the whole goal of this thing, Grace and I went over this stuff a little bit previously. Um, the, the whole goal here is 
that we want to communicate the general information about the company and the products for her target customer base, and then also give them a, a way to contact them for her for events. So it's sort of kind of like what she's already doing, you know, but enhanced on all of it. Um, we bulleted out a basic navigation structure and went into this probably in a little more detail than we traditionally would for a design live session. Um, most of this is usually pretty brief, but uh, for the purposes of this, we just decided to do it this way. So, um, yeah, with uh, so basically any of these bold one bold uh, bullets here are pages that we're going to create, and then underneath of them, these are all sections and then content within the section. So you can see um, we're going to use a standard like one page. Um, basically like a one page scrolling site that, or not, not a one page for the whole thing, uh, basically like this. So um, a mobile responsive, like bootstrap style inspired theme. So it's gonna be sort of a layout that's broken down into sections like this, but um, I mean, you know, designed for Grace's website. Um, so yeah, that is basically what we're doing here. And we have two hours allotted for this whole thing. And we're gonna try to get through um, as much of this as possible and go basically our format, our, let, our, uh, our uh, what is it? Just our, our way that we're gonna approach this whole thing basically breaks down into this. We're gonna tackle the structure <coughs> first. And then after that, we're gonna uh, tackle inputting all the content. So. And that includes like images and copy. And for the places that the copy she doesn't have written out right now, we're just gonna put lorem ipsum Greek copy filler text. Um, and that's usually better we found for like having at the end of one session in between another, because then you can actually see where the copy is that you're writing and it just, it, uh, you can write a little bit better that way. And then finally, um, style coding. So we're gonna we're gonna handle that last, and we're gonna try to get through as much of this as possible. But to do all this in such a dense site all in one day is, or in two hours, is pretty advantageous. So, um, yeah, let's let's dive into it. So we're just gonna get started on a standard Squarespace site here, um, and uh, I know I just said Bedford, but I'm actually gonna use Hayden. Hayden's a derivative of Bedford. Um, so the code and everything's pretty similar, but it's um, just a little more of a new um, a new site. So I'm just gonna make it on my account to start. Let's see. There we go. Get locked out of my own account here. So cool, all right, we're just gonna start, we're business. Um, and Grace, just uh, <clears throat> re, uh, recapping on what we were talking about before when we made this document, did you wanna have any e-commerce uh, going on initially or was that kind of like the, the future plan? Um, I think that we do need e-commerce. Um, that's a pretty recent development as of this week, but oh, really? um, yeah, so that's something Sweet. that you and I hadn't talked about, but yeah, that is okay. something that we're expecting to this week. Cool, cool. Okay, well, no, that's awesome. Um, okay, and actually, Squarespace like just updated their whole their UI a little bit, and there's the structure how everything's laid out as of like two days ago. So um, I'm hoping that this is gonna work, and we don't have to click like yeah. uh, that e-commerce thing that was sitting on this side. Mm -hmm. And it should just allow us to upgrade it. I'd, I'd assume it would, but um, we'll find out here. So Nashville Cookie Company, I'm just gonna take all your same data. Um, oh, you don't have any. So uh, address, um, what do you want to input here? This isn't necessarily what's gonna be displayed on the site, or actually it doesn't, it's not even forcing us to, to do this one. So let's just, we can just put um, nothing in there. So yeah, we have Nashville Cookie uh, Company. Um, yes, let's just do that. Yeah. And then 
first thing on these things, um, I always just delete like everything. Um, so we'll just make like home and then uh, set this to the home page. And so what we're gonna do here, like um, Grace, uh, anything, since this is all recorded too, like this, the whole mm -hmm. session is for the purpose of you being able to like maintain this on your own moving forward. So if there's anything that I'm not, or that I'm doing that um, you wanna know more about, so you can like maintain it on your own, you know, it's, it's you're just like, what is this? What is that? Um, definitely yeah. slow me down and stop me and interrupt me at any point. Um, okay. So I can go into it. Cause I'm, yeah, any, any questions you have are likely the same questions that anyone else is going to have. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 Or like why I'm doing something too. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to, I'll just walk through everything uh, as well for just the purposes of uh, you knowing what I'm doing and everyone listening to, but deleting everything, just, you know, getting a blank, blank slate. We're starting with an index section, which is what's going to create, um, I'm just going to pull up this design live site just as a reference since it's uh, built on a similar template. So the index section is what enables us, it, it structures the code in a way that makes it so we can basically uh, target each of these sections inside of a, inside of the site. So I'm gonna break it down by the homepage here. And then first thing, um, I'm gonna split this off and get this going. Um, and basically we're gonna make the structure of the site exactly the same as these bullets in a lot of ways. It's, it's gonna be really, really similar. So like you see your homepage here and the positioning of the company is the first one. Um, so we're just going to add in these pages here and each page is going to be a section going down. So, um, so yeah, the first one is, uh, so we could call it positioning, um, for the purposes of the URL and everything, we'll call it, um, we will call it, uh, call it intro for now. Okay. And so that's going to be, what's that going to be later? Um, so these are like page titles that aren't going to necessarily show up like in your navigation or anything here. It's, it's going to okay. structure the URL to be that way. And then also, um, it's, it's a little bit of like metadata. I don't know if it's technically gotcha. metadata, but it's, um, yeah, it's sort of like, it's not very prominently displayed, but, um, it's, it's relevant in some ways. So I, try, okay, cool. I, I always try to keep it pretty close, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in most instances, it's not like crucial that it's um like exactly accurate because it's not something that's like very prominently displayed so yeah 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 okay cool. um yeah yeah so then this one since product services like i just this is like our generic format for this stuff but in your case since like your product and services like um i mean we could we could say it's it's cookies but probably eh, maybe we just call it We'll just call it cookies for now and get this all in here, even though you do kind of have some like services in there too, since you do catering. Mm -hmm. um, locations next. Um, events. And then contact. Yeah. and you have contact and then um yeah so then that's our home page so basically it's structured out and it looks like oh this is cool so it looks like squarespace has actually started to uh put in lorem ipsum text in here they've actually yeah they've changed this up like as of two days ago and uh, i don't even know if hayden had a pre-footer in it either but um yeah so finally they're putting this lorem ipsum in here so we don't have to do it individually um basically before what it was doing was um it wouldn't have anything in there. So you'd have to click into each individual one to edit it rather than being able to click this and then edit like each one down the screen easier. Yeah. 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 So um, it's good to know that they're putting some of that $40 million that they just raised to good use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we got that one. Uh, the about page. 
how like we always like to do this stuff um and i do especially is like just index pages on on most of these they just have kind of the most flexibility and it's yeah there's i just like um so about and probably like your story here yeah um and that's yeah that's where we're like right here you have your three to four paragraphs so it'll be like a banner your story and then um you know once you start to get some uh employees hire like any kind of team members you can mm -hmm. add another section under here which would be like team you know yeah yeah just do the so, same process that you just did exactly yeah you just add a page and it would just add one and, and you know you're ready to go so from like a scalability point of view um you know it's it's super easy whereas if we didn't do an index page like you just have to create that and um you know it's just gotcha. more complexity even though it's kind of like it's it's not too uh too big of a deal but you know it, every little bit yeah. helps so then our catering page um and then yeah we'll just i'm just gonna label them like the same thing even though these aren't like the ideal names a lot of this is going to be dictated like by the copy that's in here and how you position yeah. yourself so like you know we could say intro and all that but it'd be i think the best name is like dictated it's it's a reflection of what you've written so since we don't have that at this point we'll just leave it for this and then um okay. we'll say situations like right, right here like the specific scenarios this is good for customization options um so we'll just call it customize and then um so for the contact what it looks like is that since we have this pre footer right here i'm actually going to take out the contact here so what mm -hmm. the pre footer does is that this is it's basically like the footer and that it shows up on every single page of the site so it's a good place to put a call to action okay essentially um cool. yeah. yeah yeah the only bad part about the pre footer is that um you um you could probably do this i'm sure you can you can figure out almost anything with code i found so i don't want to say like you can't but i have yet to figure out a, a way to make a button like this one automatically you can basically program them so they automatically scroll down to a certain section and yeah. um like i'll usually program it to like maybe it's this section you can program it there but i, I have yet to figure out the pre -filter. so um we may want to switch that up, but it's an easy switch either way. Um, okay. It's just notified by uh, my, my confide in Alex that he knows how to do this. So we are uh, mm -hmm. good to go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there a way for me to make this? I can barely read any of that. Is there a way for me to make this bigger? Yeah, like the text on it? No, Try. just like on my screen, the screen share, yeah, just to make it share. like full screen. Oh, wait, um, hold on. Okay, I got it a little bigger. Let's Try it. Okay, yeah, you should be able to do it pretty big. Yeah. I'm looking at Alex's screen right now, and um, Alex yeah, works with us here in Design Lab, by the way. If anyone knows, like, is wondering who, who I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> okay, so, so click. Uh, okay, I got it. I think. I think. Yeah, I just I just made it full screen. Um, exit out of the chat and then. Click, what was it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, if you exit out of the yeah. chat. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now I can read. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Well, that's, that's good. It's always good to be able to read. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's finish this stuff up. So we get contact, cool. become a reseller. And a lot of this stuff I know is um, sort of like other milestones where you're going like to expand the business out. That's right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Yeah, in that case, then we'll we'll just make them, and then we're going to do something in Squarespace, which you do called uh, it's basically disabling the page, so the public can't mm -hmm. see it. But um, you already have this structure laid out, and it'll be kind of like organized for you when you're ready yeah. for it. And all you do is click a button, and then it goes live. Sweet. Yeah. Sound perfect. Um. Let's see. So talk about how the experience would work. Um. Call that, I don't know, we'll just call it experience for now. 
even though it's probably a terrible name for it. <laughs> um, yes. Current resellers. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and this is like a very short list just for, this is like your social proof list to say like, yeah, right. we, got, we got mad people trying to get our, in our cookies. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Gotta, we gotta let people know. <laughs> Okay, so finally we got this structure. We got the structure down. Um, you see, Squarespace automatically populated up here with your uh, your links. So, since you're a reseller, uh, right here, this is this is uh, your basically it's called an action button in Squarespace. So it's automatically going to be your last link. Um, there's a way to kind of like change it. So these are your action buttons, but we're not going to do that for this one. Um, yeah. In the case of this reseller page, uh, we'll just um, – actually, you know what? Let's backtrack here just really quick and say, like, since we made this, like, two weeks ago, and, I mean, the nature of entrepreneurship is that everything changes, like, every week. So yeah. which <laughs> ones of these pages are the most relevant right now and going to get you the most bang for your buck that we should get finished up? Probably catering is um... – that one's growing soon. And the about are definitely okay. very important. Gotcha. Okay. So let's do this. Let's let's uh, disable this page and just not worry about this thing since it's um, kind of like down the road um, yeah. in yeah. a few weeks or something. So yeah, then we'll, then we'll just do, uh, and basically since like this is going to be our running document of what's going on here, I'm just going to, uh, make this a future and then we're just going to do everything above that and anything else we want to do in the future we can drop in there too okay cool okay so our navigation here we've home um okay here's another little thing we do uh that is um just kind of the standard that happens <laughs> flip sign now is that we're going to drop the home page and not linked so it doesn't show up up here, but if you click like the home page, it's gonna be the first page you go to. But everyone, most people have you know used the internet enough to know that you click on the logo and you can go home. So mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of something that not a lot of people do anymore. To it kind of goes in that minimalism type type uh, yeah. trend that's happening, which is a lot of our our branding is um, you know very clean. Mm -hmm. Try and yeah, then you definitely don't want any other home, you know, like home buttons just dirtying up your site, if, you know. So, so yeah, we got, um, I'm going to take that out of there. So, we have about catering locations contact. So, we have about catering. Um, and for the locations, since that's on your homepage, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a link to that and go oh, Jesus um, locations and then what we do is we make um, we do that basically the thing I was just talking about which uh, makes it auto scroll down and how you do that is you just add the hash before it and I believe that it's locations um, so let's see if this works Yeah, so the URL, basically what we're doing here is we're matching this to the URL slug on here. So if you're on the homepage, it's just going to add that to the um, whatever your uh, your current URL is. So, so the locations okay. and, then con and same thing for contact. So, and, um, and then, yeah, we'll add this uh, for the pre-footer. And yeah, Alex, how do we do this? Uh, you just grab the id from the from the pre footer. It has a special. Oh really? Yeah, and then you can just anchor link it down. So it's just like the id pre footer. Yeah. Okay. Um, we can ask you to scroll down too. Okay, let's, let's see if this works. I was trying to do this the other day like this. I thought that this would be how it works, but I don't know. For some reason, it didn't work for me then. Hopefully, it works now. 
So yeah, well, basically what uh what I'm doing now is just getting in this um, inspect element tool. It's like a Chrome tool that goes in and allows me to see all the code in the site. Mm -hmm. So it'd be this one, right, Alex? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is like the ID, and basically this is like the ID of each section of um of your your website. Everything has IDs and classes all over, it, and that's how you target anything with the code. Okay. So, cool, cool. yeah, yeah. So, like right here, we'll just drop in um, a contact form here to start. Shoot. Okay. So, like contact, and we'll just keep it really simple to start and say. I guess we'll just say contact there and then assuming that let's see if this works. So I just copied that um that ID and Alex, is it hashtag hash yep. pre footer like that? All right, let's see if this works. Okay, so what should be working now is that we'll click this contact button in here and oh perfect. Okay, so See how it basically just auto scrolls down. That's useful. Yeah. yeah. Then we can yeah. we can make it do uh, something where it like we'll smooth scroll down uh, here later, but we're at least getting the the core functionality down to it. And then locations will drop down there. So once we add more content here, it'll look a little bit more normal. But for now, this works. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, next. This is kind of the boring stuff, just to get the structure out, but always put in here, uh, copyright 2015 Nashville Cookie Company, LLC. Mm -hmm. Well, right. it's actually under a holding company, so it's just the cookie company. Okay. Cool, all right, it's reserved. So we look super legit here. Awesome. And then above that, we just want to make like a little, basically, um, just kind of like a little sub -navig footer navigation system going on. So pretty much just replicating what's up top. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll just create a bold uh, title and then say navigation on it. And then right under that, um, so on Squarespace, you can do, um, if you click enter, it basically does like a, a double line break. But if you hold shift and click enter, it does a single. So on this one, we want to just click enter normally, but then everything under that will just do a single. So we'll just literally write the same things as up here. Uh, it's, it's redundant, you know, mm -hmm. we want to eliminate redundancy, but this is sort of just how everyone is like uh, behaviorally um, interacts on the web, which is why, why we do it. So about catering locations, um, and we probably don't even need a contact on there because it's literally going to be right above them. And then uh, Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I don't even know if we need locations either. This is something too that typically like will be changed a little bit towards the end as well, just because it's sometimes I, I like to do this, this last, honestly, even though it's mm -hmm. um, even though it's kind of like one of the first things in there. But do you have uh, social media pages too? Yes. Or not? You do. Okay. Yeah. Do you need those links? Yeah. Here in a second. So okay. first. Yeah, first thing, um, we're going to just drop this, this social block in here, and um, we'll just say medium to start. And then, yeah, once we get these social links here, it's going to show up. Um, it's going to show up basically what uh, just any of the links that you have added to the site at that point. Mm -hmm. So Cool. Yeah. Yeah, right when, um, let's see here. And just separate out this. 
sometimes the square space is hard to uh, hard to work this stuff. Let me let's just get the links in here so I can actually see where uh, where this block is. So we're gonna go to connected accounts here. And actually what I'm gonna do, so like sometimes I could just log in on mine and then change your stuff, but it's gonna be kind of an issue uh, with some other functionality. So I'm just gonna invite you to the site right here and then you can just type okay. your stuff in. Cool. And uh, let's see, email is, is it Grace McCall at Nashville Cookie or Grace at Nashville uh, Cookie sorry. Company? Grace at Nashville Cookie Company dot com. Okay. Okay, so I just sent that to you, and then yeah, you'll just drop those in, and um, and then they'll automatically show up right here, which is pretty cool. So if you add anything else, it um, just automatically yeah, yeah. shows up. And I'm not try to wrangle the stupid text block. All right. All right, there we go. And then, yeah, what I'm going to put in here too for now is, um, it's called a spacer block, just to add um, padding on the sides. Mm -hmm. And this is just basically to like totally aesthetic. Uh, she's not even showing up on the side here. Oh, there we go. And we'll take out this uh, title. So this is site, footer site info. Um, sometimes it's easier to put in for people. I just like to take it out. Yeah, and just let me know whenever you're done at uh, the social links and I'll finish that footer up. Okay, cool. So you want me to just go ahead and put those in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you cool. need me to walk you through where that is? Yeah, so I go to footer content and click edit, right? Oh, no. So so basically all you're going to do is like, if, if you look at my screen, there's connected accounts. So you'll go to settings and connected accounts. Okay, let's see. Settings. <laughs> Connected accounts. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, are we putting this on the old? Should I already go ahead and connect this to the other website? Um, not to the other. Oh, oh, like you mean um, when like it's asking it, you for like the API stuff for uh, Facebook and everything? No, the the one that's already built. Are we gonna go ahead and link that this one to that? Oh, um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll build this one out first and then we'll link mm -hmm. it at the end so it doesn't bring your gotcha. site down. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I am, let's see here. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to switch your domain right now so it's, uh, unless you already took this one. What? Which so one is the, it? Uh, it's this Squarespace vanity URL. So it's naturalcookiecompany.squarespace.com. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a temporary domain until you connect your full one. Okay, let's see here. There we go, okay. The Facebook is done. I'm connecting Twitter and Instagram. Okay. Awesome, let's see if this is down here. Ah, that's the problem. 
I think at least. Okay, let's see if that works. I'm not saying no such account. Let me go back here. All right, I'll 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 just uh, keep going with some stuff while you're doing that then. Cool, cool, cool. And, um... Well, it's, now it's saying the account you created does not exist. Or you requested does not exist, so it's not letting me go on the connected account. Really? Okay, mm-hmm. let's see what you're... Let me see what you're doing. Um, okay, so... All right, I just... Went back to yours. So can I uh, screen share on yours real quick? Yeah, do that. Okay. okay. Let's see, I think this is how we. Oh, no, that's not how it is. I think. Uh, so you have to click screen share down there. Did you there see it? We, yeah, there we go. Where's my video? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, and then just so just minimize this screen real quick so it doesn't. Uh, do this kind of crazy. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. So click that URL, the Nashville Cookie Company at Squarespace. Uh-huh. You might have been going to. You might have gone to the old one, and then I uh, I switched it on you, and it just totally messed everything up. Gosh, yeah. That's, gotcha. Probably what that's, that's probably what happened. Um, let's see. So you want to go owner's login? Go to owner's login? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oops. Okay, cool. Well, that's not right. So let's see here. Perfect, perfect. It doesn't look like it, it. It doesn't look like the Facebook one's working for some reason either. I'm on the footer right now, and only the Twitter one's coming through, but Facebook isn't. That's weird. Let me try and redo that one. Let's see. Yeah, and also like just looking at your social icons and that they're circles. You mm-hmm. know, potentially, potentially, we need to make some that have that Nashville Cookie Company logo, where there there's like a little bite mark in it. You know. Yeah. 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 That'd be awesome. (laughs) Okay, let's see here. Did it work with the Facebook? Uh, Let's see. Okay, I'm refreshing. All right, so we have Instagram and uh, Twitter. But click your Facebook real quick. Let me see if I can go in. I may be able to go into this too, actually, and just see what. Okay, so um, um, do you know? Let's see if this URL goes to your natural cookie company. Okay, so the URL is going to your personal. Do this. Uh, okay. Do this. Um, try to like go to natural cookie. 
Um, Go to the Facebook and then put the new URL in there. Yeah, exactly. And um, here, I actually just pulled it, so maybe this will work. There you go, okay. Did you get it? Uh, you, you can go for it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so just drop it in that profile you are. Oh, okay, there it is. You see that thing that says show social icon? For some reason, that guy clicked off. Oh, weird, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so if you click that and then just click save, it, we should be good. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So then if you click off your screen share, let's see. All right, perfect. Go back on mine. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so now the social's working, and let's just test these out real quick. Perfect. This one looks good. Instagram. Looks good. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So now that that stuff's in, we're good to go there. Um, have tax ID in here now. Really? Oh yeah, gosh. add your tax ID in Squarespace. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. So if you, I guess you can send invoices out now. I don't know, this is a cool econ. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I need to check this out. Yeah, I just use a different software for that. Yeah, same. Um, okay, so what is the, uh, the contact email and the phone number that you want for Nashville Cookie Company? Um, the contact email is just the grace at Nashville cookie .com. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to put like generic stuff, like connect with us. Um, I don't know if that's exactly what you want to say or not, but you said it. So it's grace at chill. Mm -hmm. One, uh, one thing you could do too is like, if you put, um, like info or like inquire or like hello. I know it's like, I don't know, I mean, kind of redundant. But if you want to position, if you want like perceivably yourself to look like you're like a like really small niche, like homegrown thing, you know, you put your yeah. name. But uh, it's just mm -hmm. kind of like a subtle little like, uh, you know, brand perception thing. Or if you, you are doing things like that to make it look like you have uh just you're a larger organization you know it's same kind of thing if you put like a a local number versus like an 800 number how 800 number looks like you're a, just like a larger company for whatever reason yeah 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 i mean we are um, trying to keep everything as local as possible so okay i think that's not, yeah but even for the contact you could do something fun like i don't know call it something else like i'm trying to think like over the Nashville vibe, do something like "Hey y'all" or, um, I don't know, something like that. We can yeah, just yeah, leave yeah. a contact yeah, too, yeah. but yeah, it's a long email too. Kind of looks, it's like it a is. lot of text, but it's whatever. Um, and then, what's the phone number that you're using? Um, it's a six one five number. It's six one five. Seven three nine. Okay. Two five nine zero. Okay, cool. So we have those, and then what we're gonna do is turn these into links. And so we just go tell for a telephone and then go mm -hmm. six one five seven three nine two five nine zero. And then same thing for this. Just copy that, go mail two, and this just makes it so Basically, when you click this, it's going to open up uh, basically your Gmail. Um, okay. So cool. that, this would launch my Skype. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know if it's bugging up or what. Sometimes it does some weird stuff. But... Um, <laughs> 
yeah so it should open up my gmail i'm sure it probably will but anyway we'll uh make sure that's right in the end so anyway <clears throat> dropping in this stuff here um World just happened. Okay, there we go. A lot of times, Squarespace just does weird stuff. And mm -hmm. it's like sometimes I'll write code in there and, and be stuck on it for like 15 minutes or something or like probably not 15 but like five or ten and just be like why isn't this code working and and mm -hmm. what will be the result is i was writing it right the entire time but um and it was like i was re like clearing the cache on the browser and everything which is what you're supposed to do and then like i find out squarespace just basically like does what it does it makes it not display and i'm just like oh my god mm -hmm. <laughs> no i know um, so yeah, this is just where we'll leave this right now. Not complete, but the stuff's in there. Um, business address. Are you displaying an address anywhere on anything? Mm, not right now. Not right now. Okay. We'll just leave all that blank then. And then we'll just go through this real quick. Um, currency, yeah, USD, Tennessee, Imperial. Sounds good. I think we don't have a brick and mortar storefront. Um, then I don't think it really makes sense to put that on there. Yeah, yeah, that uh, makes sense. Um, okay, so site description and all that, we can tackle that kind of stuff at the end and just go through everything. Okay. Um, um, let's see, marketing, and then there's some SEO stuff in here. Same deal. Login, code injection, URL mappings. So cool, yeah, we're pretty much going on. So we basically just got the structure in place. So what we'll do now, let's cross this guy off. And then now we'll just drop in um, images and copies. So Squarespace has been so gracious to us to already put in some lorem ipsum and copy that we can just mm -hmm. manipulate. Um, and then you've sent over your zip file with all these awesome photos. So. Here, I'll just move this um, onto this screen for now. Let's see, where did that just go? Okay, here we go. You have a bunch of cool ones in here. Um, yeah, there's some really sick ones. That's yeah. Really. Yeah, these are these are uh, the shadows kind of killing it there, but yeah, there's maybe I can. There's definitely ones in. I mean, this is all this is all like still. I mean, much better than a lot of. A lot of people we uh, make sites for. They, they I mean, mm -hmm. if you have custom photography, like you're you're ahead of the game. Yeah, that's for sure. So, yeah. This okay, Sarah, this is. It's what? This is Sarah Nicole photography in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty sick. She did, she did a good job. Um, yeah, we can. We can run. Um, it looks like. I'm going to turn off Flux. Flux might be messing up. Uh, yeah, it's on right now. It's, let's see this. Okay, yeah, so we, pretty much like we just, we can, we just need to crank it, like the exposure up a little bit on that guy in Photoshop. Not a big deal. Yeah, or something not, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but this, is, this is some awesome stuff to work with. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. And then there's your uh, story photo. Perfect. You're like, this is me. This is what I'm doing. Okay, this is, this is sweet. You have a lot. Um, 
All right, so let's just go down um, on your home page to start. We uh, we just need to put in your banner image. So all these pages are gonna have a banner image associated associated with them. Mm -hmm. Let's actually just go through that list to start. Um, okay. So first image that comes on, like when you come to the website, it's gonna be sort of like uh, this video that we have on our page. Okay, it's yeah. Big image, maybe, yeah, big image, and uh, then your text on top, like Nashville Cookie Company, get your awesome cookies here kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So your logo will be up here, which you could do. Um, how we have it on here is like we're switching our branding so that like Design Live will have the Design Live logo up here. Um, since originally it was like a sub company within Digify, you know, so. Right. But here normally you wouldn't say like necessarily your company name. Um, okay. So yeah, if you want to think about that just for two seconds, and then also we need to pick an image that's going to go in the background. So like something that just kind of encapsulates your whole brand. And yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I think one of the ones, not the pink ones, I don't think. Um, Yeah. Like, so if you're trying to, you know, if, if this is the first time people look at your site, even if not, mm -hmm. like the first image is going to be what, um, you know, it just says, it says so much with the, the text as far as it's like your first impression. So if you're trying yeah. to gear this towards more events, um, maybe you should be like, okay, we're going to, plan to get an event photo that's going to be dropped in here next time yeah, um, yeah yeah so it really depends on that kind of thing so like the image should reflect that essentially yeah um I think yeah right now i mean you have a bunch of good product shots it looks like those so mm -hmm. it probably is like one of those i'm thinking i don't know what, what are your Maybe thoughts here? The, well the chocolate chip cookie one with the bite out of it looks like our logo so that's a thought yeah yeah so we'll have, the logo, we'll have the logo right up here yeah i kind of like one of these to be honest yeah what do you think alex one of the cookies of course this one yeah, I think that's gonna be first. Can we get that watermark? Did you say you have the ones without the watermark and then we can attribute to um you said it was mm -hmm. Sarah? Yeah, Sarah Sarah Nicole photography. Yeah. Um yeah, in that same Dropbox photo or Dropbox folder, there's um the exact same photos without the watermark. Oh the Which W's. Is, oh. Yeah. oh okay. Yeah. Cool. So this one, this one. Yeah. These are sweet. Okay, and let's just drop that attribution in right now. Um, say, um, so it's Sarah Nicole Photography. Mm -hmm. And Nicole has the H after the C. Okay. And then, yeah, what we could do here is, does she have a website? Yes, let me find that. Let's give her a little, little link. Little plug. Okay, yeah, it is just Sarah Nicole Photography dot com. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um Very cool. It's a cool site. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now to get these photos um, optimized for the site, what we need to do is we need to make them low weight. And what I mean by that is we need to reduce their size. Um, every, basically, at four se if, if your page takes four seconds to load, 
Uh, mm -hmm. Statistically, 25% of your visitors are going to drop off. If it takes eight, 50% will. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's why page loading times are very, very important. Um, and it's completely wow. dictated by the size of your files. So, like photos and video basically slow it down. Gotcha. Um, so, with that, yeah, yeah. With that being said, um, we're going to open up Photoshop here and just do a quick image size reduction. Um, sorry, when it loads up before us. Let's see. Let's see if we can optimize this a little more. All right, you think we should just go straight with this, Alex? Do a little optimization. Looks pretty good. We could be critical about it, but it's pretty close. So let's just stay yeah. with it. I mean, do you think it'd be cool to have black and white since the logo is black and white, or do you like the color? Um, honestly, I think we should keep the color to it because also like the fact that you have a product and like if you put anything in your, what you're gonna want to do is you're yeah. gonna want to keep all your photos consistent throughout the site, especially like so. Right. I mean, you could have banner photos black and white, and then the other ones be color. But like, I mean, when you have pr like a product, you should probably yeah. Keep I'd say. You okay. Know, yeah. If you have a pink cookie, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see that pink cookie. And that's very true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna reduce the the um the width of the image. And you see down here, this is where the size is. That's still too too big. Drop this down. Uh, dimensions are more important than the quality, so we can compress it. Two thirty is pretty pretty good. Um, so these are all your raw photos. What we'll do here is make um, website photos and then go home banner. And I'm just going to minimize this. So for intro and then home banner, perfect. All right, so we'll drop this in here. And then I don't know if you want to think about what you want to put here now or we do this um, later, but mm -hmm. basically your first text is going to be, um, okay, so like what's, if you were to like distill your value proposition to like one, if you were to distill your value proposition to five words, what would they be basically? Or, or one sentence, better yet. Um, just locally made craft cookies. Perfect. Okay, so like, yeah, perfect. Um, locally made. Do you put a hyphen in between locally made ever, or is that? Um, I haven't, but you haven't. Uh, we'll just keep it out. I don't know if that's even correct grammar. Yeah, I have no idea. Locally made craft cookies. Um, one thing I'd say too is like. Okay, so how we've I've figured out basically that Google detects uh, Squarespace is what's in this description is very, very important to Google. So what we should do is throw Nashville right here in the bold since you want to compete for that in SEO. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and then put the locally in the sub part of it or something. Like I'm thinking um, – like Nashville, something like, uh, I don't know, like Nashville's premier craft cookies or something, like something that just says Nashville. And then like, then the next one would be like a full sentence instead of a, like a little statement like that. Probably that is like, um, yeah, definitely. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Um, I think that it could be, um, yeah, just like Nashville, I like the Nashville's premier craft cookie company or just Nashville's uh, dopest craft cookie company. <laughs> the only craft cookie company. <laughs> We've killed all the others. All of them. Yeah. It's just, just, just us. Um, um, yeah. That'd be hilarious. If you're like the only craft cookie company in Nashville, the only cookie the only company one. in Nashville. Yeah. How about just <laughs> <Like> what <laughs> Nashville. <laughs> Uh, Nashville made craft cookies, even. 
<laughs> Nashville made craft cookies. Yeah, so you see in the comment section, Alex Tapper, he is a wordsmithing expert. So we definitely should go with what he's saying right now. He's got money all over his words. <laughs> Nashville made craft cookies perfect. And then for the under that, we put, um, I don't know, maybe if nothing's coming to mind, let's not get bottlenecks. Uh, something will. Okay, cool. Yeah. Perfect. So people just know what's up. They know, I mean, you're the Nashville cookie company, Nashville made craft cookies. People are from Nashville and they're needing cookies. They're going to know that, that you're just the place to go, basically. And Google will know, yeah, which is awesome. important. Um, now, as far as keeping branding consistent, this may be later, but um, in the logo, the font we used was, um, I think it was Courier something. Sure. Um, is that something that we can try and keep relatively consistent? Yeah, yeah. I'd say on headlines, uh, Courier, that, that'd be cool to keep Courier as your headlines, definitely. Yeah. Um, let's see. Courier is a very old font, so it probably is um, on here. Basically, yeah. all the fonts that are in here are either Google Web fonts or Adobe Typekit fonts. So, perfect. Let's see. Uh, Courier Sansera. Sansera. Courier new, Courier Prime, Courier Standard. We got Courier all over the place. Perfect. Yeah, I think it was Courier new. Was it? Actually, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Is that an Adobe? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty positive it's Courier new. Okay, let's see. Nice. Yeah, I mean we can toss that all over the place then. I mean, Sweet. Looks a little. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Like it looks, it's like pixelated, small. We're gonna have to yeah. find out. I wish well, it had more weights to it. Is the only thing. It only has the bold, and then let's see what the title looks like if we did it with the headline. Hmm. See what the other, um, Courier Prime, Courier Prime looks like it has a little bit more weight to it. Yeah. Yeah. Should probably do rounded edges since it's like more cookie-ish. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking Courier Prime or the Courier New, or hell, I mean, we probably could do. Eh, probably not both of them. I don't know. Let's yeah, we could stick this in there. there. Um, I don't know. Honestly, like so, Courier is almost. It, it's like a. It's the same font that Gunio uses too. <laughs> um, like I almost <laughs> associate it more with like 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 code. It, it, it's like a. I don't know. Just more like techie, yeah. like old school, like old 90s techie, but it kind of does have like a little bit of a cookie look to it. Cause like if you zoom in and look at how the shapes are on the C's and the O's. Yeah. I don't know, actually, you know what? It, it kind of works for this. Cause like the O's are like just weirdly shaped. Like it's clearly not a normal circle. And yeah, exactly. I, don't know. I think, I think it kind of works. I could just be biased. Cause I like, I did some design work for Gunio and always was working with Courier. Yeah. Or it was like um, it was like a courier derivative, I think. I don't know if it was exactly courier, but let's see here. I'm looking at their site to see what it is, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we'll get into that style later. Yeah. Um, do that last, so we can keep this one on our structure here. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a big old overlay on text or uh, color overlay on the banner but what uh yeah what we'll do here is 
let's just get to these next images and um, start rolling, start knocking through this thing a little more. So we've, cur so we've uh, yeah, this part, and we'll just do the banner ones to start. So the about image, um, we should probably, I mean, definitely the one, one of the ones with you, I'm thinking. For the about? Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, that's that's a sweet image for uh, using as a graphic. So it's all that side space there. I know, yeah. Maybe that, you're like, yo, my <laughs> red pins. Um. Beer cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a beer, bacon, and chocolate cookie. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one, too. That's a really good one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. So you have, like, each of the, like, individual cookies. Oh, this is great. This is going to be great for the menu. Mm -hmm. this is some clutch stuff. Yeah. We haven't photographed every single flavor, but we have several on there. Yeah. Like, that's just chocolate chip. Okay. Um, so about wedding cookies. Okay, so this is like our, basically these are our event photos. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> probably, okay, so this is like, the, yeah, so if this is on the homepage, it probably would look good to have some kind of like, they're also similar though. Mm-hmm. Because what I'm thinking is, uh, <laughs> nice. Perfect. Oh, it's like a statue of a dog. I thought it was like, yeah. a, I was like, what is going on with the dog? Yeah, I know. It's, it's just a statue that was there. Yeah. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is like one of these would go down like in the content section because you're probably going to talk about yourself, I'd assume. Um, yeah, we'll just like do a little bio kind of thing and tell yeah, how the yeah. company got started. Yeah, just basically get people like knowing what's up, like some emotional attachments. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, that's kind of a cool one to put as a banner. What about one of the brick ones? One of those. I was thinking yeah. one of these would be, I was thinking like this would, like, I'd say use this on marketing collateral where like you can put this here and then we should do this one since this is like sure yeah. yeah and then do this one like in the body so like stick that somewhere in here um so yeah we'd stick that in there it's like yeah i'll just cue these up in photoshop basically okay um So this one in the yeah, this one right here. And then for the banner, natural. And maybe we could just do one of these classic cookies. If these are the classic cookies, then I wish we had I don't know, I just I, I want to have like diverse imagery if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. I agree. But still keeping the branding consistent. Yeah. Maybe this one. These are really large. No, no, maybe we can do. Let's take some of these and do like a tight crop or something like that. Um, okay. Because maybe we can just make it like, I don't know. Let's, hold on. Let's go back to this document. Put, we're putting a lot of thought into this, but it's important to I think um, I want to have I'm thinking one where it's like just the whole photo is just end to end cookies with that so we like kind of tighten the crop up um, I'm like okay, where, yeah. where would that go and probably maybe what we do is it's like do you have your menu already built out um yes i mean it, well we have an i have an image of it do you mean like solidified or do you mean 
like just anything i mean like if you have a structure and an old menu like it's it doesn't even matter but just so we can build something in here that uh we can kind of design around yeah um it's just an image right now the menu is and so what i was gonna do um was have just the cookie names and then um if you roll over them or click on them um, a description can pop up or an image or something like that or maybe that's too complicated and it just needs to be a list okay um can you like describe that just one more time sorry yeah 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 so um right now it's just a an image um of a menu which that will work honestly for the time being uh -oh. um but can i was thinking about, yeah, yeah yeah let me send that real quick because i could probably manipulate that some way that'll work on here um and we can just throw it up there for now and then i can update it because we do have a seasonal menu um which means that we have um we, it's gonna have to change relatively yeah, frequently yeah. no that's fine if you just send it to me i can i can figure out some kind of plan and see it in the context that you have it okay cool right. i think just okay uh, these are the logos just pulling these uh from the, your email now did you send two? Um, yeah, I sent a Photoshop document and then the actual, the PNG too. Okay. Um, Photoshop one didn't really work, but that's all right because the PNG is all we really need. Yeah. Um, all right, so it's good that you have like really large yeah, images like really here large too. Images. So what I'm going to do is just take this and reduce it um just like crop it really tight for the low to insert in the logo section yeah yeah okay cool and then we're gonna shrink it down we don't need it this big we'll just do like 600 and then we need to save it as transparent ping of course um I'll go to let me, let me bring in this uh, logo original. Okay, right, cool. And then this image of you, we'll just I'll just process this real quick since we're already in here. Um, oh shoot, we want to get the uh, the one without the branding since we've already attributed her. Okay, I sent you over the menu. Okay, cool. Awesome, okay. It's a nice photo, like the crop. Reduce it up. All right, um... Probably go with the resolution on this for like 750 with. Let's see what that looks like. JPEG. Probably 600. Even smaller, like that. Um, Looks like it's just downloading the menu. Okay. Okay, there we go, cool. So, we oh yeah, have this cookie menu. Um, and I'm just gonna like put your name in here, like Grace McCall, so Google just, when it crawls your site, it'll just have like your name all over the place and stuff. Okay, cool. I don't know why it's okay there we go and then it was so for a second here's another thing i'm just going to talk about uh there's something called alt tags basically google can't read images it you know uh computers don't know how to like 
interpret images really at all these days. So mm -hmm. um, what they do to interpret images is they read something called an alt tag and the uh, the title of the image. So what the alt tag is is basically um, the workaround until computers can interpret images where you write in what the image is about. Um, right, or something right. so when Google crawls, it'll, it'll know. So, um, so I'm just going to say like, I'm going to say this, but here's the thing is that like, this doesn't even necessarily need to show up, but that's how Squarespace writes all tags. So, okay, cool. Yeah. So like, See how it says caption below? We just write that in and then say do not display and it hides okay. it. So you still cool. get the little SEO bump, but it does. Perfect. Yeah. It's the little things that make the difference. This is just a little thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So we got your logo here or your um, menu. I keep calling it your logo. Um, We'll deal with that in a second, but let's finish off these photos. Okay. Where are the rest of these? Beer cookie. All right, so having this side by side, maybe one with some green. Um, we've already used, yeah, we just used that one, so. I don't know, I'm like, one of these could be nice. Yeah. Well, we'll on the use, about page? On the, they're probably better for the events pages. You know? Yeah. What about those with the blue? Kind of like that. Maybe those, yeah. Maybe those, yeah. Or like that. What do you think of that one? Yeah, that one. I like that. I like that. Where was that? It's like one of the first ones. Let's turn to the thumbnails. I think it was this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm gonna crank. I'm gonna crank the. Uh, is it um, the exposure on this up a little bit, just because it's a little dark. Okay. Sure. I think yeah, not a ton, just like a tad. And probably not do anything like this. It's probably screw them up. I just kind of want to see what this does. Oh, wow. So if you added like any of these effects, you know, it just kind of like makes the cookies. See, like that's normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if we want to do all that right now, though. We could do that probably another time. It's like a whole kind of thing within itself to make those things pop. Actually, one of the guys that we just got on the team, too, is really good with that stuff. Uh, Isaac, who... Uh, yeah, you met earlier. Yeah. Okay, so we'll save this thing out. And we're doing, um, I believe, let's see, I, I believe we're doing 2,000 width across all of them. Okay. Home banner. Yeah. Yeah, so 2,000 width. And then, geez, this one's really, uh, really heavy. That's all right. Google Fiber is about to roll across the nation, so. Yeah. <laughs> Saving the day. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, my God. Everyone's having to step their game up now. I know. It's good. Yeah, it really is. It'd be so quick. Everything. Yeah, I know, right? Like, yeah, Comcast, everyone's just making their internet go crazy. Um, what is this? It's the about page, about banner. Let's 
Um, intro story. All right. So yeah, to add the banner into like, you just drop that into the thumbnail right here. It's compressed. Nice. Um, how about this? This is kind of what I'm thinking. It's like, maybe like how we began and then then you can dive into this stuff. Maybe since like, I don't know if you want to position yeah. yourself this way or not, but this could be cool. Like, like, then you go like, Maybe you could do like something like that and like, and then you put this here and you nest it in there. Um, so this will do, so we throw spacers down on here and Yeah, so there's two columns of spacers on each side. There's four columns across this whole thing is how these, these sites work. And then what we okay. do is pull this down, maybe mm -hmm. like to there or something. Yeah, it looks good. And then you, then you, yeah, you write your whole stuff and then watch. So this is basically how this will work is that you write this and say this is one paragraph and you have your next one. And then see how it wraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd have that, and then what happens is like when the site responds, see it just it just stays wrapped around your photo. And so that'll do that when I put in different text. Um, exactly, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um, you just click edit, change your text, um, and then if you need it, like if you do manipulate your photo, it's just like it's all just positioned in there. Mm -hmm. So awesome. and then yeah, this is how it looks on a iPad. And then iPhone will be like, bam, there you are, what up? And then we can, this is like right. minor, but we can basically make it so this equal spacing, once we go into the code section of it, mm -hmm. I don't know why Squarespace doesn't handle that. But <clears throat> yeah, so probably like something like this for now. Okay. Um, and yeah. yeah, you have like three to, three to four paragraphs in here, maybe just one, I don't know. Um, or whatever, something like that. And any more than that's probably like, I'd say like two to three, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So that's our about page, catering page. Um, we're gonna want, um, find the image on that. Yeah, and what we'll do is we'll find the image on this. And um, so what we um, uh, realized on this too is that uh, the software we're using Crowdcast, it unfortunately only records for 90 minutes max, and we're at just about 84 right now. So okay. I want to just get this image, and then what we'll do is just um, basically put together a plan. And um, I'm thinking we can, like, keep going with this next mm -hmm. week and uh, have, like, the next session at the same time. Um, and just pick up where we left off or something. Um, I would like to, to, I do like to do two hours, but you know, um, I don't know, we'll figure out maybe how to do that in the future since since we definitely want to keep this all recorded. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, so let's just, we'll drop the logo in too, make that look good. So Perfect. That information. Um, where we at? Where we at? Oh, go National Cookie Company. There we go. Uh, this is good for a browser favicon. We'll do that later, but this is a good favicon, which I don't know if you even know what I'm talking about, but 
it's good. I don't. I don't. What's a favicon? We'll find out next time. Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Next We're time. about to learn what, what the favicon is. Like? Digging into favicons, people. <laughs> and it looks like Squarespace and it's ever never ending wisdom. Let's see if it did just did what I think it did. Oh wow, Squarespace and its never ending wisdom changed the header when it detected the colors of the logo. Some art some serious artificial intelligence happening right now. Nice. Looks like the image detection technology is a little better than I thought. I don't know. Um, anyway, but we actually didn't want that to happen, so it screwed up. Big fail. We're going to change that real quick, too. We want the white, otherwise, we don't see the text. Was it white, even white before? Or was it? I don't know. Mm -mm. It was black, I think. Yeah, it was black. Oh, was it? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. I'm retarded. Jeez. I was wondering if I if you saw like it was lighter or something on your screen or. No, I I don't know. For some <laughs> reason, I thought it was light. Jeez. Um. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't do that. We just need to make this text um, black, black, so we can just see this stuff. We know what's going on. Um, but yeah, we have that like that. And then um, here's here's the other thing too is we can just, I'm just gonna do this as fast as possible. So this recording doesn't get cut off here, but um, okay. So yeah, you see you see like how this is. What we can do is um, make a copy of your logo that essentially is gonna work with this. We just need to cut out the right points. We can do that next time. Okay. So we can run these yeah. white because I don't know if you like how this style is or not, or if you like uh, basically how this, we could we could put a, a, a bar up here. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I like that style. So there's even, I can, I can mess around and make the logo, like even make the words white. Yeah. For this option. Yeah. For the, the, for the block banner. Okay. Yeah. I mean, your logo is like very, very easy to manipulate for this. Probably like one of the easiest types of logos that could be manipulated. So we can do that um, next in the style phase. But cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's actually just wrap this up here. So uh, we okay. got two minutes left. And so, yeah, we will just write down here since this is where we ended and we'll say um, the points are the point at which we ended was putting in um, what was it banner images, I guess. We'll just make that note there and, uh, and we're good, actually. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, basically this. Uh, this is where we're at right now. So the beginning of it is like kind of um, just, I guess, for the audience listening right now, or, uh, the beginning of, you know, any site's relatively boring. Um, we're just dropping this stuff in because we can't manipulate anything or create any, you know, cool animations or cool design elements if we don't have anything in the site. So it's pretty much like from a, a, uh, just a methodical standpoint and doing dozens of Squarespace websites, like we found that this is, just the best way to do it to start. Um, so now that we have everything in there almost, we just need to put some photos in and then, you know, the, the exact copy, we're at a much better place to start off next time to have, I guess, a little more action in, a, yeah, in this, this little webcast, which, you know, as much action as a website can have. So anyway, um, yeah, this, uh, that, that's, that's about it. So um, I guess cool, I'll just, cool, cool click off of this thing and see um, see how this works here. Oh, there's my... Right. There we go. There we go. All right. So, mine... um, what's up? Is, what's up? is mine... Can you see me? Yeah, yeah. Everyone can see you yeah. right now. Because I, like... I can't see it. 
you, you can't see that's anything. weird oh it's because i have two screens right now that's why i'm looking down it looks all weird anyway um 